Now that you have your files in Google Drive, one of the things that you might want to do is share it. Now, a great example of this is your teacher might ask you to share the Google Drive file with them. So this is how you do it. So I'm going to go into my science folder by tapping on my science folder. And from here, I'm going to see that it is my visual report. This is the template that I created just for this demo that I'm going to share it with my teacher. So I'm going to tap on the right-hand side, the I. And this was the same process we used um, to move it here by tapping on move. But some other things you can do is tap share. I could completely delete it from Google Drive. I could print it. I could also start, which makes it a favorite. I can rename from here. And I could also choose to open it with another program on my iPad. Down here, it says keep on device. If you toggle this on, it will make that available for offline so you can access it whether or not you have an internet connection later. So from here, I'm just going to tap on where it says share. And all I need to do is put in my teacher's address. So I'm going to send mine to Mr. DiCello at RaiderWeb.org. Notice, which it's actually my name, so I'm sending it to myself, but I can tap on that because it will automatically populate it. Now, the next thing I can choose is do I want my teacher to be able to just view it? Do I want them to be able to add comments to it? Or do I want to give them the full level of access and allow them to edit it? In this case, I want my teacher to be able to edit my document. So I'm going to tap edit. And then when I'm ready, I'm going to tap that check mark at the top. And that file will now be shared. So my teacher will receive an email saying that a document's been shared. And when they log into Google Drive, they can go down and see this file listed on shared with me. So just to verify that I've seen that, I can scroll down here at the bottom. And you'll see that who has access. It'll say sample teacher, which is this fake account that I'm using right now, and also D. DiCello. You can see that it can be edited there as well. So I could also access this by hitting this plus, or if I want to change and realize that I only want my teacher to be able to view it, I could tap where it says can edit, and I can change those rights from here. I could also completely remove the user. So that is, very quickly, how you can share using Google Drive.